What's up everyone, Fritz here again with another episode of Sneakerhead Ambition and today I'm going to be covering a topic which I definitely get a lot of questions about and that's going to be in regards to Gmails and their scores. Uh, Gmails are obviously a large factor right now with sneaker botting and especially for Yeezy Supply. So that's what we're going to be covering today and I'm going to be putting a special focus on AYCD which is a tool that I use and is very popular within this space uh, to farm my Gmails and get them ready for Yeezy Supply drops. So that's what we'll be covering today. I'm going to break this video down into several parts. First, I'm just going to go over why you need Gmail just in general and why this video is so important. I'm also going to go over once you have Gmails, uh, how to farm them and get them ready to put into the harvesters within a bot to actually run on a drop. And then I'm actually going to go over how to use AYCD and Autosolve to farm those Gmails. Like I just mentioned, that's the tool that I'm going to go, for, go with in this video because A, it's what I use personally and it's also what I think is the most popular tool to use in this space. So I think that this will help the most people. Uh, there are, are other options. There's Kylan One Click and Kodai Essentials, but I don't think those have been that that hot lately. I'm pretty sure that AYCD is still, uh, you know, best in best in the game. So that's what I'm going to cover today. I will have that on-screen footage towards the end of this. So just look forward to that, and that's what I would recommend you getting if you are looking to get into botting at any meaningful scale and and plan to be in the game for any meaningful amount of time. So definitely look into AYCD, best tool in the game and is definitely needed to do this and to, to fully utilize the information in this video, you do need AYCD. So starting off, just you need Gmails for botting. And again, we are gonna focus on botting Yeezy Supply today, but you need Gmails because you need to pass Splash on Yeezy Supply and that is gonna require a CAPTCHA to be solved. So when you are starting up your tasks on a bot, you're gonna have a Gmail in there on Yeezy Supply that that's gonna run through. It's gonna see the score, which I'll get to in a second, and then it's gonna let you let either let you pass Splash or not let you pass. So it's gonna look at that. The Gmail is required. So that is the biggest thing, right? You can't start putting in your checkout information, your shipping address, proxy doesn't matter much yet as long as it's connected. If you can't pass Splash, it's because of your Gmail. So you need to make sure that your Gmails are in order You've got them on good proxies, they have good scores, but again, that's just why you need Gmails, right? You need them to pass Flash. There are no bots out right now that you can run that don't require them. So that is the bottleneck for most people's success. And most people are looking at their proxies, their cards, this and that, they need to get better Gmails, right? Right now, that is the name of the game. You need to have one-click Gmails. And now I'll get into how to get those Gmails and then how to get them to one-clicks. Now, if you are also unaware, right, like I mentioned, every single Gmail has a score. So Google is going to give your Gmail a score from point from on the low end, 0.1, to the high end, 0.9, and if it's the best, a one click. All right, so it's gonna give it a score based off of where it's, where traffic has been coming from. Has it been on multiple IP addresses in the same day? Is it hopping around all the time? Basically, does the behavior look more like a human or look more like a bot? Right, both of those, both of those behavior patterns online definitely, definitely say something about what the person or bot behind that is doing. If you know the company sees, Google sees that you are on there every single day from eight to ten p.m. on and off, no breaks for the past two years. Great that you're farming, but that doesn't look like a human. Just as also, it doesn't look like a, a, a definitely a human if it gets online once every two weeks and just answer some captures and then you know does, isn't used again. So basically you need to do your best to use the tools you can, AYCD, to get your Gmails to those higher scores, right? If you do not have 0.9s, you might as well not even run. I'm not gonna even lie to you. If you don't have 0.9s, I, I would not run. I would not waste the data. That's a tough pill to swallow sometimes, but if you don't have point, if you do not have 0.9s, you should really have one clicks, but if you don't have 0.9s, I would not waste the data. You're not gonna get through unless it's a drop that nobody's running for and nobody wants. You, there's no hype drop that you're gonna hit with 0.7s. So I know that's harsh, I know that's not fun to hear, but that's that's kind of the deal right now. So that's what Google is doing in terms of scores and that's how they're determining whether or not and how many or how often you are actually gonna pass Splash with Easy Supply. All right, now that we've discussed why you need Gmails, what they're doing, how Yeezy Supply is dealing with them, all of that. I'm now gonna get into how you're going to go about getting these Gmails. So you're gonna have two options. The first option, you can just use a Gmail, right? Use any Gmails that you've had before, friends, family, school, 
any of that works. Uh, I would recommend that they've been around for a while, right? It is harder to make them today and start farming them. That's gonna take a while to get them to 0.9 to one clicks. But if they have been around for a long time and you start farming them on a consistent basis, that should do a that should work within a month or so, right? But that's not how I get my Gmails. The 90% of my Gmails are, or 100% of my Gmails are purchased that I use, but 90% of them are from a company Vanished. Uh, I am sponsored by them and I've been using them successfully now for seven months. I've been sponsored them by like for like a month, right? So I've been using them successfully, uh, hands down the best company in my opinion. And they have several options, just like other companies have several options. Those options include, you can just buy Gmails that have been around, but they haven't farmed, so they don't have that good of a score, right? Two, you can buy 0.7s, 0.9s that either come with or don't come with a proxy. Now, if they come with a proxy, they're gonna send you the proxy that they've been farming the Gmail on. So let's say that you buy 5.7s. The company, hopefully vanished, vanished, sends you proxies, all right? You can use those proxies for a month. Those are the proxies they've been farming them on and that's gonna help the score stay the same and increase. If you have, let's say 0.9s, 0.7s, and after a month, the proxies run out. Vanished allows you to renew them for I believe it's like a dollar, a dollar fifty a month. It's not that much. It helps you keep the same IPs, which helps keep your score up. All right, so you have the option of, again, to just buy Gmails that have no farming activity and are gonna take a while. You have the option to buy Gmails that are kind of mid-tier, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, that have a proxy to work with. And then you also have the option of buying one clicks. Those are definitely more expensive and harder to come by, but they have the same option. For me, I have used Vanished, and I've used those proxies, and I've kept renewing them, and that has worked the best for me. When it comes to what proxies you're gonna to use to farm Gmails that you haven't been provided proxies for, I would strongly suggest that you not buy companies, proxies, or capture proxies. A lot of companies sell capture proxies. Don't buy these, right? I, I can't speak to every company. Buy their highest quality ISPs and use those. 24 seven ISPs, not the capture ISPs, their best ISPs. The companies that I can recommend for this vanished, right? But I, I, they don't provide what proxies they're using. I can tell you they work amazing. So either use vanished, right? They have great proxies, whatever they're using. I can also highly recommend proxy heaven ISPs, Porter ISPs, XYZ ISPs, final shop ISPs. All of those are great. I would again, highly suggest that you go spend on this. This is important. It doesn't matter what else you do on Yeezy Supply if you don't get this right. So you need to get one of the higher quality ISP providers, get enough that you can put them all on your Gmails that you either purchased and let the proxy expire or it was your own or you purchased without. But take those proxies, put them on there and start farming. Now, if this is the case that you got 0.7s, 0.9 Gmails, you start farming them, it should take a couple weeks to a month to get them to one clicks. If you purchase them as one clicks, you should just continue to farm them and they should stay one clicks until you start to use or abuse them, right? If you use them all the time and then don't farm them, that'll hurt the score. And if you abuse them, right? Like logging into a bunch of different devices on different IP addresses, weird hours all the time, that's gonna hurt your score. So you really need to make sure that you're thinking of all these things because it can increase the amount of time that it takes to make that score better. And you really do wanna to try to get these up there to that 0.9, one click as quickly as possible, and then make a concerted effort to try to keep the proxy the same, right? Get a proxy company or a Gmail provider that's gonna allow you to renew so that you don't have to change every month and go through that process to get to that one click again every single month. Now, talking about farming in regards to how often throughout the day and how often you should farm, you should not, like I mentioned earlier, just press start, let it sleep at night and just run, right? That does not look like a human. I personally, right, I'll, and you'll see this in the video, so everything I'm saying here, if it's a little confusing, I've done my best to explain it, but you'll see it in the video. But when you get on there, right, and you're going through and you're using these and you're trying to get the scores up, something that's gonna happen is you're, 
you're going to want to not do every single day. Okay. So let's say that there was a week with no drops. Okay. I'm ideally going to five to six days that week. I'm going to, you know, press play. I'm going to turn on, uh, turn on, not auto. So turn on one click and have it farm. It'll farm for 20, 60 minutes. It'll turn on. Once it's gone through all of my Gmails, I'll just turn it off. I let it run one time that day for 20 to 60 minutes. Some da sometimes I'll do it twice a day, one in the morning, one in the evening, maybe it's just once in the afternoon, but five to six days. I usually try to not do it at all on the weekend, at least one day, but again, five to six days. Like I said, do not just press start and just let it run. It doesn't look like a human, you're not gonna have a good score. Try to, again, put a little variety in there, not every day. So five to six days a week, one to, once to twice a day, just press play. Then once they go on break, you can just shut them down. Another major factor in your scores and keeping them up or getting them up and keeping them there is definitely going to be just resting them after a drop. So let's say that you are running for a drop and one of your Gmail solves, let's say 50 to 100 CAPTCHAs. Do not farm it that day right after or the day after. Maybe not even the day after that. Try to give at least a day, possibly two, when you go through a big drop where you really use those Gmails a lot in AutoSolve or InBot. When you get those high solve counts, that really doesn't look like a human. So try to, try to put that in there, right? And just, again, take at least the day off right after. And then the following day, you might wanna take off till halfway through, but give your Gmails rest. You do not need to run them every single day to get one clicks and to get the best scores and the best one clicks, you should not be running them every single day. Now that I've gone over this portion of the video and just some of the basics and some of these specifics on how to get one clicks faster, I'm gonna go on to the on-screen footage. Uh, again, you could use other tools. I would highly recommend AYCD. Again, definitely the most popular tool in the space. Uh, and just follow along on there. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. This is not 100% needed to bot Yeezy Supply, you could use Gmails and just put them in bot. But if you're gonna run 10, you know, 10 accounts, 20 accounts, 30, 50, 100 accounts, you're gonna need this tool. It's very difficult to log into all of those in bot. So definitely something to consider. And you know, if you're starting off and are working towards that, this isn't a bad idea. It is just gonna, it's gonna be a good thing to learn and it's gonna help you down the line, the better you understand it. Something to consider too, is just that all bots don't work equally on AYCD. Uh, personally, for me, I pretty much funnel everything I have, everything I'm running through AYCD other than Valor. Valor, I tend to try to do InBot because that just works better for me. So pretty much everything else I run, Trickle, WhatBot, Mac, Wrath, all that good stuff, I funnel through here. So I definitely use this heavily and rely on this heavily during drops. So it's not just something that I'm putting up here that you should maybe use that I kind of use. I use this absolutely, I've used this every day for the past three years. So this is definitely something, again, to just familiarize yourself with and definitely nail down and learn how to use it, how to use it efficiently, quickly, how to transfer all of this around and just have a good setup that, again, you understand and are able to deploy efficiently. As always, a massive thank you and shout out to my sponsors. Uh, I've already mentioned Vanish since they definitely are relevant in this video because we're talking about Gmails and that's where you should get yours from, in my opinion, outstanding company. So definitely check that out. But also if you need any proxies coming up, I know we've got the big slides drop in six, day, six days from now. So I know that you all need proxies. If you're looking for daily ISPs, if you're looking for weekly, monthly ISPs, residentials, live, if you need flex accounts, Gmails, servers, whatever you need for botting, uh, just check out the information section below. Like I said, I work with reputable companies that cover all of those needs. Like I said, whether proxies, Gmail, servers, Got it all. So check those out. Uh, great options down there and they're all things that you will see me use on screen and I use on a regular basis. So like I said, I'm proud to promote them and I really think that y'all should check that out. And like I said, there are discount codes down there and there are some proxy groups below that have Discord links in them. So you could jump in there right now and try to catch a restock before the slides. Anyways, that's all for this portion of today's video. As always, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch me ramble on about botting sneakers. It really means the world to me. And definitely check back in a couple days. Uh, I'm gonna get a video up either Thursday or Friday that's gonna go over just my thought process going into drops. And it's gonna cover just how I plan out what ISPs I'm gonna get, how many, uh, which sites I'm gonna run for, which SKUs, what percentage of tasks. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna show my spreadsheet that I have for every drop that I do that just has a basic format that I plug in so that I can better visualize 
the different bots on the different servers, how many proxies, how many tasks, like I said, which SKU, which site. So I'm just gonna go over that. I think that's definitely helpful and will be helpful to some people to just have a, have a better framework to think about their decision-making in. So check back in a couple of days. I'm gonna get that up either Thursday or Friday so that y'all can see that before the slides drop coming on Monday. And that's definitely something that I am starting to plan for and prepare for this week because that is definitely the biggest drop of the month. So check back in a couple of days if y'all wanna follow me on either of my other social media accounts on Twitter or Instagram. The handles are in the information section below. And again, just check back in a couple of days and I should have that planning for the Yeezy supply drop up. So check back for that. And until next time, see ya. All right. What's up, everyone? Uh, here's the on-screen portion of the video. So I'm just going to go through how you would go about setting up AYCD, how you'd import your Gmails. I'm basically just going to run through, like, if you just purchased some Gmails or you have some you want to input, there's a drop tomorrow. You've got AYCD. You've got, you know, a couple Gmails in there. And you just generally need to know how to do this. Okay. Obviously, you're going to open up AYCD, um, and when you get in here, like I said today, we're going to focus on one click, so I'm going to come here, and voila, that was tough. All right, now I should have these covered up right now, give me a second. Okay, so let's say that I just got in here, let me make this a little smaller real quick. But let's say I just got, why can't I resize? There we go. Just got AYCD. Okay. There's going to be two ways you're going to import or put your Gmails onto AYCD, right? So as of right now, God, right, you can see we've got our accounts, proxies, autosolve. We won't really touch on analytics settings. On accounts, you're going to come here and you're going to either select add account or import. If you add an account, right, you can pick the category it's in. So you can make categories over here, pick the category in or just all put the email in password, all that good stuff. After that, right? Notice there's no proxy in here. I will get to that in a second. You would hit create. There's going to be an account somewhere on here that pops up. That's the one you made. Just search for it. There's a nice little search bar right here. Makes it nice and easy. Now, let's say that you are, you purchased some Gmails from a great company like Vanished, which again, you should definitely try. Um, and you bring them onto here and you're trying to get them to import. Likely, most companies, because again, there are a lot of companies that sell Gmails, but most companies are going to give them to you in a CSV format. So what I would do is I'd come here, I'd download, first I'd download them from, you know, whatever company I purchased them for, finished. And you'd come here, right, and you would go to import. You'd find the file, put it right there, import. All right, now, when you import them, let's say that I imported five Gmails that I purchased. The Gmails are going to pop up, one, two, three, four, five, kind of right here, Okay. You can then move them to the account or to the categories you want, right? So I'd click on an account that would pop up right here. I'd go to it. I'd go to edit. I'd go to move, and I can move it to any one of these accounts over here or an account that you made. But that's how I would do that. So again, getting your accounts on AYCD, you're either going to manually input them, add account, or you're going to import that CSV file that you would get from one of those other companies. So again, you, you can purchase these Gmails. That's where you'd import a CSV file, or you would just put them in yourself. Let's say that you have, you know, a bunch of man or a bunch of Gmails that you've hand created over time and you want to put them in there. All good. Now, you may remember that I mentioned that if you have a proxy, right, on, on one of the uh, accounts that you just put in here, it doesn't have a proxy. That's what I meant to say here yet. You would have to go to proxies. I obviously have a lot of, I haven't cleaned this up in a long time. You would hit create, make a new category, 
and then just put your proxies in right you can post your list here should be good quality isps like we already talked about and then you'd come back to your accounts you'd go to the um you go to the account that you made all the info should be in there remember you put in all the info except the proxy you go to proxy you go to set proxy and bam okay now i've got my accounts on to aycd that's a plus next we're going to move on to how do i prepare them for a drop so i've got my accounts on here i've made my categories yada 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 all right now from here i mentioned that i typically try to do like five five to six days a week um if they've been tested i give them a day you know i mean i, I, I try well, that's not what i meant to say when I'm testing them, I test them one to two times a week, leaving at least a day or two in between, at least a day or two between. And just remember that if there is a drop and a big drop, you're going to solve a lot of captures. We'll go over that in a second, but you're going to solve a lot of captures. So you're going to want to rest them. So if there is a big drop and one of my Gmail solved like 50 to 100 captures, I'm not going to run that thing for a day or two at least because it needs some rest. You can't just farm these 24 seven, 365. That does not look like a person, right? A person takes breaks. Even the sickest of us in this space, leave us, leave our computer. Um, but that I try to do it. Like I said, once or twice a day, I'll come on here. I'll go to options, start. And if I whichever group I want to do, if I want to do all of them, I'll start all of them. Um, and I'll let them run and I'll let them run until they all go to taking break. And then I'll just stop them. And I do this once, maybe twice a day five to six days a week with special attention being paid to the fact that I don't want to farm them after they've been really kind of run into the ground solving. So that takes planning. When you're doing that too, take the day off before big Yeezy supply drops, right? Like don't run. And that takes planning too, because remember, you don't want to test too close to a drop. You want to take a day off before the drop. You want to, you know, there's a lot going into like if you're running a larger setup. If you're only running three or four of these, a lot of this is kind of irrelevant, but it's good to think about as you continue to progress and grow into like a bigger setup. It, it pays to think about this stuff in advance. You need more Gmails to run big setups, right? You really just do. Um, you know, Valor really does a great job with the one in, in bot, but that's a different story. So, that's as far as farming goes. All right. Now let's say that we get to drop day. So we've got our accounts on here. We've been farming them, but not farming the shit out of them. Just farming them, right? Just consistently five, six days a week, every day, once, twice a day, right? Days off after big days. Let's say I want to run these. Now you need to make sure that you go to auto solve and that you have the, all of your bots popping up over here. Right. If they don't and you're pretty sure you got them in, that you logged them in to AYCD, hit sync dashboard. They should pop up here. Now, if you don't know what I mean and you're lost, if you go to AYCD.com, first you got to purchase AutoSolve. I don't know if I mentioned that. So sorry if I made it sound like this comes with it. But if you go to AutoSolve, you need to go make API keys for every one of your bots. Now, notice that when you look at this list, I have one Valor, two Valor, three, right? You cannot, I did this when I was scaling up for the first time. You can't, even if I have four Valors, I can't only make one Valor API key. I need to go to AYCD's website, log into my account and generate these keys. I think 12 is the max and I think I have it maxed out right now. You need to make sure that that's on there because if it's not, that means that the bot is not going to connect. It's not going to pick this thing up. All right. If the bot is connected now, that now this does not mean this is connected. This means that this is registered, that that is a bot that is connected to AYCD. This does not mean if it pops up here that you're connected to AutoSolve. If you go over here on AutoSolve and go down to here, this will tell you which bots are actually connected. So notice only one of these is connected. If I ran Mac right now and didn't change anything when I turned it on, it wouldn't connect. It doesn't have auto solve up. I have a couple on here. I think Sigma Sigma's closed right now, so that's not up, right? You, a lot of these will pop up if I open them. I could open Whatbot and Sigma and they would pop up here with my key in the middle, okay? So 
that's setting this up. You do not want to have AI autosolve checked off for Yeezy Supply. It will torch your Gmails and they will not be the same for, for weeks. Don't do it. Um, for just... I'll get into it later. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do a video on AI autosolve just on its own because it really does, it's very different from this. So I just want to do that on its own and it's really for foot sites mostly. But you do not want this on. Just please, please, please don't do that. It's going to really mess your Gmails up. Somebody is going to make that mistake. I made it. Just be careful. You'll, you'll quickly see in a second where you'll start seeing that go wrong. Okay. I've got all this set up, right? Um, these are all third-party solvers, right? Cap Monster, Anycap, 2Cap. I've got two each of them. I need to add a little money to some of them, but I really don't use them that often um, just because foot sites now, like I said, is AI. But that's where these would pop up, and that's pretty much it for right here. Now, when I go back to accounts, right? I've got this all set up, and it's time to roll, right? Let's say we're 20 minutes out from Yeezy Supply Drop. I'm going to select the accounts that I want, right, or go to the... category I want where whatever it is and I'm going to go to oh, start auto solve selected or all whatever the case may be they're all gonna fire up now let's say that you've got 20 of these bad boys and only 10 of them open because you need to go to your settings and you need a Mac you need to put this at an appropriate number now I'm I've run this on a very big server bare metal server uh, so y'all want to make this an appropriate level for your server. I can't speak to everybody, so, but mine's at 100. I can run 100 of them at the same time. It's not a big deal. Um, but you've got to deal with that, with that with your computer and what the specs are of your server and whatnot. So I'll stick with this. Okay, all of these are running, let's say. Now, with Yeezy Supply, pretty much every bot at this point is at a point where that when you start the tasks 10 minutes out, and what have you they're going to they're, pretty much every what i'm trying to say is pretty much every bot has it implemented now that the wait for sale feature where you're going to start the bot but it's not going to start solving until splashes up and the sale is started so you know you will start this up and you'll see waiting for waiting to solve and you won't see any solves down here this is critical i it's crazy to me that this took me like this took me like months to see this down here but this is telling you how many you've solved. You can also go back to autosolve and go to here, and there should be a running list here once the sale gets going. If the bot isn't here and it's not showing up here, you're not connected to autosolve. Okay, so you need to have all of these checked off. This I always just have connected because I'm always just ready to use this, but I forgot to mention this. You need to right connect. Connect to auto solve, right? Okay. Okay. Now all of these are running. You're seeing this over here. Good to go, right? So that's pretty much it. Uh, I do want to mention that when you start to get up into the hun like around a hundred or so, when I start, I I don't I try to not run seventy five or more on the same. AYCD instance, you can purchase an additional AYCD instance. I think it's like 15 bucks a month. Could be 20, could be 10. I, I don't know off the top of my head, but that was helpful to me. It helps me not clog up one, one instance with like a hundred or, you know what I mean? So you can do that. I've found that that's been pretty useful. So just something to mention there. You can get an AYC, a second AYCD instance to add on there. Helps not jam it up. You can send the traffic from specific bots to specific AYCD instances. Just some higher level just planning that you can do as you grow your setup, right? Uh, I do tend to run pretty much every bot I have through AYCD for the most part other than Valor. Valor, I really try to run in bot as much as humanly possible because it just does work better. I've had, I've, wor I've used it with AYCD, but if you can get in bot down, it, that's really where it's at. But other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, if you all have any questions, you know, let me know in the chat below, but I'm pretty sure I covered pretty much everything. Like I said, I'm going to do another video on Autosolve AI for foot sites because that's pretty much critical at this point.
if you want to hit. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty mandatory. So just can you know look back for that in a couple of days. But the next episode I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna put one up in two days on just where or how to how I go about planning out my setups for drops, right? Like how I go about planning out how I'm gonna utilize my proxies, how many proxies I'm gonna buy, what type of proxies I'm gonna buy which bots I'm going to put them on, which bots I'm going to run on AYCD Autosolve, InBot, uh, what time, how, how, to what extent I go for FNL, JD, foot sites, DSG when there's a full day. I'm really going to try to just break down my full thought process going into it. I'm going to show you the spreadsheet I use to plan out drops for every drop so that I have the same sheet that I fill out format so I'm familiar with it because, again, the more familiar you are, familiar you are the you are with your processes and just your routines, the better you can kind of visualize it while it's going on. It's just, it's very helpful to me to have it all mapped out, right? Uh, I used to write it down for like a freaking year and then I started doing it on Excel and it's obviously a lot faster now and it's very helpful to me. So I'm going to just go over that. I'm going to try to get that up Thursday, Friday at the latest so y'all can kind of read over that and not read over it. Nobody reads anymore, but um, listen to that and just kind of hopefully, oof, Hopefully, uh, you know, just maybe have a, maybe think of some things you hadn't thought of. Maybe come at problems or the situation from a different angle. Whatever the case may be, I hope it's helpful. But um, you know, just check back in a couple of days for that. We've got a really big day coming up on Monday. Uh, the Yeezy slides. That's pretty much it for this month. I mean, not it. it Yeezy supply wise. So big build up to this. Going to throw. The farm at it so check back in a couple days for that uh i will get that up uh as always a massive shout out again to my sponsors thank you thank you thank you y'all help me so much and again i i will pump these <laughs> my sponsors endlessly because i've really i'm, I'm proud of the people the companies that i'm working with i really highly suggest that y'all look into them like i said some of them are private i'm hopefully going to get some invites soon some of them are open to the public and just have discord invites in my uh comment section below so just go check that out and i will see y'all in a couple of days and until then next or till next time i can't talk so yeah so until then see ya